According to legend, in ancient times, the sky was crystal clear without a single cloud. The heavenly emperor found it too dull and ordered his seven daughters to spin and weave, making clothes for the heaven. The seven sisters took turns spinning and weaving. However, the yarn they spun was either white or gray, making the fabric quite monotonous in color. The youngest sister was a resourceful person. She quietly went to the royal flower garden to find a material that could weave colored yarn. She discovered a fairy grass that had seven color flowers and seven color fruits. Wasn't this grass a perfect material? She joyfully collected a lot of it and decided to use it for experimentation. Late at night, the younger sister secretly experimented with the grass. When the spinning machine produced colorful yarn, the younger sister's face turned red with excitement and she almost shouted out. The next morning, the sisters discovered this miracle and all widened their eyes, praising the younger sister's skillful hands. What a beautiful flower fabric! When should heaven wear it? The sisters debated. In the end, the younger sister said that the sun god worked the hardest, so heaven should wear the flower clothes for welcoming ceremonies. On ordinary days, heaven should wear white clothes and gray clothes when it rained. The heavenly emperor was very pleased and called all seven sisters to reward them accordingly for their achievements. The youngest sister had the greatest contribution, so the heavenly emperor gave her an extra reward and named her Weaver Girl. The Weaver Girl weaved every day without stopping, but when she got tired, she always looked down at the scenery of the human world below the Milky Way. Whenever she saw the busy scene of men plowing and women weaving, she felt both interesting and novel. A young man caught her attention. She noticed that he was always working alone, and when he rested, he only talked to the old cow beside him. The weaver girl couldn't help feeling a bit sorry for him. That young man's name was the cowherd. Although he had no parents and was abandoned by his siblings, he was hardworking and brave. With the help of the old cow, he even built a home. Therefore, he was very happy every day. Cowherd! Cowherd! The cowherd was startled. He looked left and right, but there was no one. Who was calling him? Cowherd, another call came. The cowherd looked around and saw that the voice came from the old cow. He couldn't help but run over, feeling both surprised and happy. The old cow said that he was originally the golden bull star in the sky. For violating the rules of heaven, he was punished to work on earth. Because he saw that the cowherd had a good character, he was willing to help him. Speaking of which, he mysteriously winked and called the cowherd over to tell him a secret. After hearing it, the cowherd couldn't help blushing. The golden bull laughed and said, Cowherd, what is there to be embarrassed about? Do as I say tomorrow, and I guarantee you will find a good wife. It turned out that the next day was the seventh day of the seventh lunar month. According to the customs of the heavenly court, on this day, the heavenly emperor's seven daughters would bathe in the Milky Way. The golden bull told the cowherd that if he hid someone's clothes, that person would become his wife. The cowherd was convinced by the old cow and decided to give it a try. The next day, the golden bull took the cowherd and quietly hid in the reeds by the Milky Way, waiting. At noon, seven colorful clouds floated in the sky and slowly flew towards the Milky Way. As the clouds got closer, oh! Each cloud was carrying a fairy. The cowherd was stunned. He saw that the seven fairies took off their light clothes one after another, and jumped into the clear stream. In an instant, the rippling water surface seemed to bloom with white lotus flowers. The fairies chased and laughed in the water, playing non-stop. Look, how happy the weaver girl is! She jumped out of the water and danced gracefully. Her graceful dance moves were so captivating. The cowherd was stunned. Cowherd! What are you still doing there? Hurry up! If you like someone, hide their clothes! The golden bull urged in a low voice. The cowherd had his eyes on the weaver girl. He leaped up and grabbed her clothes, then ran back. Because he was in a hurry, he knocked down a large area of reeds with a loud crash. The seven fairies were frightened by the sudden loud noise. They panicked and rushed to the shore, grabbing their own clothes and flew back to the sky. 
Only the weaver girl stood there in a panic. The cowherd's heart was pounding. He approached the weaver girl and stuttered that if she agreed to be his wife, he would return her clothes. The weaver girl recognized him as the young man she often saw. She couldn't help but develop a feeling of admiration and nodded shyly. The golden bull laughed happily and said, let me be the matchmaker. Today is a good day, and we will get married tonight. Uncle Golden Bull. Look at you. The weaver girl's face turned even redder with embarrassment. The golden bull picked a purple trumpet flower by the roadside and blew it loudly. The six sisters heard the trumpet sound and landed by the Milky Way again. Seeing the scene, they all understood and sincerely congratulated their younger sister. At this moment, a bell rang in the distance, signaling that it was time to return to the palace. The six sisters bid farewell to the weaver girl reluctantly. Crossing a small bridge and a small hill, the cowherd brought the weaver girl to his doorstep. The cowherd has married a fairy. This news spread like wildfire among the villagers. People came to congratulate and see the new bride. The flow of people was endless, almost breaking down the cowherd's door. After marriage, the cowherd continued to farm every day. When he was hungry or thirsty, the weaver girl brought him tea and meals. Their life became even happier. One day, the cowherd returned home from work and saw that his small thatched cottage was glowing red from far away. Oh no! It's on fire! The cowherd was shocked and ran over in a hurry. He rushed into the cottage and saw that there was no fire at all. The weaver girl was calmly weaving silk on her loom. The cowherd was momentarily confused. The weaver girl smirked and said, why are you so stunned? The cowherd then noticed that the red glow came from the silk, which was as beautiful as the clouds in the sky. The weaver girl giggled even more. At this moment, the neighbors, both young and old, rushed into his home, thinking that it was on fire and came to help put it out. When they saw the beautiful silk, they all praised it and asked the weaver girl to teach them how to weave such silk. The weaver girl agreed to their requests one by one. Two years later, the weaver girl gave birth to a pair of children. The couple continued to farm and weave cloth every day, and their life became even better than before. Seven years passed in the blink of an eye. The weaver girl, who used to be very happy, looked at her lively and lovely children and sighed, feeling unhappy. The cowherd noticed that the weaver girl had become thin and asked if she was sick. The children also noticed that their mother often shed tears and asked if it was because they didn't listen to her and made her sad. The mother had some grievances in her heart that she couldn't express. It turned out that one day in heaven was equivalent to a year on earth. Every seven days, the heavenly emperor summoned the seven sisters. This matter was about to be exposed. At noon that day, the weaver girl's worries finally came true. A dark cloud suddenly appeared in the clear sky, and she realized that something was wrong. The dark cloud drifted closer and closer, and a heavenly soldier suddenly jumped out and loudly shouted at the weaver girl, saying that marrying a mortal was a violation of heavenly rules, and he was sent by the heavenly emperor to capture her and take her back to the heavenly court to be punished. The weaver girl quickly retreated into the inner room. The heavenly soldier pursued her relentlessly. The cowherd and the children desperately protected the weaver girl, but they were no match for the heavenly soldier. The cowherd was filled with grief and anger and picked up his children, determined to chase after the weaver girl even to the heavenly court. He couldn't bear to be without his wife, and his children couldn't be without their mother. Oh my god! The weaver girl had already been taken back to the heavenly court by the heavenly soldier. The cowherd was heartbroken and wished he could sprout wings and fly up to the heavens. But where could he find wings? As he looked at his weeping children, his heart shattered. Just then, the golden bull appeared and took off one of his horns, handing it to the cowherd, saying, take it and go. It can turn into a boat that can carry you and your children to the heavens. This was truly a godsend. The cowherd held the small boat in his hands and knelt down to thank the golden bull. The golden bull urged him, go quickly. If you're too late, you might not be able to catch up. The cowherd grabbed a ladle and a basket and boarded the boat, which rose into the air. 
The small boat sailed among the brilliant stars, and the cowherd shouted as he chased, but there was no sign of the weaver girl. Breaking through the clouds, the Milky Way was now in sight, and the weaver girl's figure could be vaguely seen. The boat sped up, and the children waved their hands and shouted in unison, Mom! Mom! The weaver girl, standing on the other side of the Milky Way, heard the cries of the cowherd and the children, and struggled hard to break free from the heavenly soldiers to meet them. The cowherd was about to cross the river, but at that moment, a huge hand reached down from the sky. The hand sliced through the air along the Milky Way, and there was a loud thunderous sound. After the thunder subsided, the clear Milky Way suddenly turned into a surging celestial river. The waves were like towering mountains, and the cowherd's small boat could not cross no matter how hard he tried. Dad, let's use this ladle to scoop out the water from the celestial river. The little daughter blinked her innocent eyes and said. Yes, let's scoop out the water from the celestial river. The grieving cowherd agreed without hesitation. The cowherd vigorously scooped out the water from the celestial river with the ladle, and the children also helped with their small hands. The weaver girl could only stand on the riverbank, watching the waves and shedding tears, refusing to weave any cloud brocade despite the heavenly emperor's repeated coercion. Suddenly, flocks of magpies flew in, covering the sky and blocking the surging celestial river. It turned out that the magpies were moved by the cowherd and the weaver girl's spirit and disregarded the heavenly emperor's scolding, flying over the Milky Way to form a bridge for the cowherd and the weaver girl to meet. The cowherd rolled with tears of gratitude, carrying his children and quickly running towards the magpie bridge. The sincere love story of the cowherd and the weaver girl also slightly moved the cold-hearted heavenly emperor, who allowed them to meet once a year on the evening of the seventh day of the seventh lunar month on the magpie bridge. In the future, whenever the cowherd and the weaver girl met on the magpie bridge, there would often be a drizzle on the earth. People say that this drizzle is the tears shed by the cowherd and the weaver girl when they express their love to each other.